Hello, this is Wampire here to do a review of the Snagit 2.0 controller. Okay, uh, first of all, a controller is a specific tool from Crudo Knives. It's designed for self-defense that you're going to cause a lot of pain to your attacker to discourage them from attacking you further. So you're using pain to control them. That's why it's called a controller. Uh, basically, the idea is if you think of like a palm stick, Okay, it's like a palm stick, but because it's shaped like a knife, you can do more. It's plain and simple. Uh, with a normal palm stick, you're going to have like the uh, front area. Some are shaped like spikes and stuff where, you know, just force multiplying. And uh, this area right here, the back part, you know, a lot of palm sticks might have that as well. But this is like the skull crusher region. Uh, on top of that, because uh, you have the two... Uh, rings right here you got finger protection and the blade region itself can be used as like a wedge and the spine region can be used for hooking and then of course you know you're going to be able to use this as a karambit impact tool so it you could just do a whole lot more with this compared to your average palm stick and the holes here and and the holes itself they they allow you to put the keys on there or lanyards and just do some creative stuff with them as well. So uh, as far as carry goes, because there's no blade, and even though it does have a point up here, um, it's not like it's super sharp to the point where it's just going to shred your pockets or something like that. So you can easily just toss it in your pocket. Carry is very, very easy and convenient with this. I've carried it as a neck knife. It's my own personal favorite. Um, no sheath required. Just dangle it like a necklace, and it works r really well for me. Uh, that's what I like to do, but okay. Anyway, right now, so far, I'm just kind of like telling you what this thing is, and it's not really a review. So to make it a review, let's bring out the original. All right, so that's the original uh, Snagit controller, and let me put it on top right here, and you can see that the size is is fairly comparable. It's it's uh, quite similar, very very close in size. I think you can see that the skull crusher region is going to protrude out here. The handle is slightly thicker on the uh, on the 2.0. There, there's a, there's more metal there. I don't know if you you guys can see it there. Oh, okay, here you can maybe see a little bit more. Let me try to align the back here. Yeah, there's there's a little bit more metal there, and also with the tip, I think you guys can see uh, because of the point, just how much more it kind of sticks out there. Okay, so other than that, pretty similar. Uh, the hole here, I know uh, the 2.0 is slightly larger with the hole there, and obviously uh, the 2.0, this one only has two holes here, whereas this one has a whole bunch of holes right there. So uh, those are the main differences. When I'm actually holding this in my hand, the original versus the 2.0, I can feel that the 2.0 is thicker and slightly heavier. You could actually feel it in your hand. So, you know, but it's not... It's not like it's heavy. Both of these things are so compact that weight really isn't an issue here. Um, so anyway, if I had to compare the two, what do I think? I, honestly, I have to tell you the 2.0 is better. It, it is an improved version for sure. Okay. Uh, now, there might be some reasons why you might actually get the or original instead of the 2.0. All right, so let me bring up some possible reasons. Um, the reason why you might go with this guy instead of this one, uh, one reason I can think of is, let's say you have this guy. If you have the Snagit fixed blade, all right, and uh, you may want basically a training knife, okay, a training tool that's like as close as possible to this guy, then obviously, the original is going to be close as possible to this one. The 2.0 will be closer to the 2.0 Snagit fixed blade, plain and simple. So, you know, I really don't think it's that different, but like I said, if you, if you want it exactly the same, then you're going to go with the original. Uh, another reason why is the original is cheaper. It is cheaper, so that might be a, an attractive point for you. Another reason that I can think of is, uh, for those of you that are interested in karambit knives, I highly, highly recommend 
even if you're not going to go with these guys, get a Karambit trainer. Don't flip with a live blade. Everybody wants to, everybody gets cut. It's super important to get a trainer. When you compare the two, obviously this one is going to give you the smoother flipping because there's nothing here. That being said, does this get in the way at all with flipping? I'd have to say it's super minimal. You do feel it, like when I'm flipping and stuff, I can feel it, so this one is slightly smoother. But like I said, I haven't had trouble uh, flipping, karambit style flipping with either one. So uh, the bottom line conclusion that I have for this uh, Snagit 2.0 controller is that I think it's really good for self-defense. Um, you know, what I like is it's so convenient. It's so easy to carry. I don't have to worry about how am I going to deploy the blade, you know, things, things like that. It's not complicated. It's very easy to just have in your pocket or dangle from your neck, like I said, or have it in your backpack, have it in your... Uh, in your car somewhere. It's it's very convenient in that sense. It really doesn't take a brain to figure out where are the weak areas on the human body. Uh, if you actually study martial arts, of course, it can get a lot more complicated and that's just going to open more uh, windows of opportunity for you. But if you don't know the details, just stabbing this into someone's throat, that's going to cause pain, all right? You know, just ramming this into a skull, all right? That's, that's probably going to cut flesh, okay? So you're you could do a lot with this thing and uh, an excellent way also to look for pressure points and weak points on the body is you could use this as a massage tool so that's what I like about it when I'm just sitting at home watching TV and stuff I start you know just giving myself a massage and uh, finding out how like you could dig this into the tendons and stuff like that and you could just imagine in a real life self-defense situation you can really really dig it in uh, separate ribs you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing so I think it's a, a huge success legally people uh, ask me all kinds of questions always with knives self-defense tools and there's really no easy answer legally you have to do the research okay um, you know talk to multiple police officers talk to multiple lawyers do your own research make your own conclusions uh, nothing is so black and white good positive attitude being uh, professional, you know, being respectful, a law-abiding citizen, all these things go a long way. Let me just tell you that, all right? Another thing that I personally like about this is uh, because they're so compact uh, is just how you can do interesting things with them. You could hold two in one hand and it's not a problem. I, I don't feel like this is bulky in any way. So this is the same idea as kind of like a uh, the butterfly swords in Wing Chun Kung Fu. You think I have one weapon? Well, it can turn into two. And actually with this, it can be three. And really, this is... I, I'm not really uh, making an effort to hold this. It's, it's very, very easy. Uh, another thing is... Even while holding one, I can operate a firearm. I can do other things with the same hand while holding this. And you could also come, come up with some pretty interesting... Uh, <laughs> pretty interesting things like this all right so yeah I definitely uh, like the idea of the Snagit very much and I do recommend it